what is up what is up what is up fs club guess what it's thursday and mods just dropped it dropped very early today so uh let's get to these new mods guys of course go to the mod section uh make sure you click that show all mod button and here we go we're gonna start at the end like we did last time on uh, other section we have slurry trading system which was in uh fs 17 too this is by holger sinkstock uh, this is a placeable liquid manure trading system. Slurry shop. Your slurry tanks are empty. Refill your tanks at the placeable object. Slurry storage. Uh, store your slurry at the storage. Capacity is 250,000 liters. And then you have the slurry trader. You have you have too much of slurry? Sell your slurry on this placeable object. Great demands inclusive. Uh, you can find the placeable objects from this mod along the placeable objects in the miscellaneous category. You can place these objects freely on the areas of the map as far as the, as far as they belong to you. The objects are also displayed in the PDA and you can jump directly to them. And at the slurry trader there are now and again great demands for slurry. So that is awesome. So let's install that one. Okay and then we have also the liquid manure tank by SP Modding. It's probably going to be huge. Uh, placeable liquid manure tank. Um wonder if there's capacity or if it's automatically filled I have no idea okay so there's that one okay let's go to farm buildings we have the bale cell point and storage by SP modding same people but no never mind this one's by Dorset <laughs> okay a pack of three bale cell points with storage working doors and light at night you can sell all types of bells at the selling station okay so let's install that one so there's that uh, under objects we have an update to the manure trading system uh, the selling price has been adjusted and the mod C version was adjusted for the update 1.3 to 4. Point, to version 4.3 to version 43 which should improve the performance of it. Okay. So, let's update that. Under packages, we have nothing. Animals, we have the Coon SPV Comfort 12. This is by Nico Pix. Uh, let's see. The self-propelled mixer Coon SPV Comfort 12 capacity is 12,000 liters. And it is $112,000. Uh, that actually looks pretty cool. So let's install that one. Bailing technology. We have the bale fork Seth made by Steph in 1997. Uh, the self made bale forks for wheel loaders. Price is $1,600. That thing looks pretty big actually. Uh, let's do that one. And then go all the way over here. Wheel loaders, we already have that one. And front loaders, we have the Flegel Guide Rail. Uh, this is by Gamer8250. Uh, the Flegel fork can be configured to a pallet fork or bale fork. The Peloton fork is adjustable in width. In addition, it is also a good bale fork. So let's install that one. And then, uh, let's see. Last but not least, we have a new map. We have Logging in Mountains by Stefan 1997 I didn't even know he even did maps. Uh, Logging in the Mountains is a partially very hilly forest map surrounded by a beautiful lake. At the sawmill, you can sell your logs and wood chips. So uh, let's install that so I can actually show you guys. It is only 32.59 megabytes. So this probably is the smallest map I have ever seen on console, at least in size. So, uh, so this is basically just going to be a big old forestry map. So let's go in and take a look at these mods, guys. Okay, today guys, we're going to do a little bit something different. We're actually going to start over here in our placeable section. Uh, so first of all, because we actually got a pretty good amount of placeables. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go to placeables. And let's see what we have here. Um, everything in the silos does not look like it. Uh, so probably miscellaneous. See if I can find it. Yes, that's new, but I'm trying to look for certain thing first. There it is. We have the liquid manure tank, which is $50,000. It is two slots. It is $25 a day. Fill your slurry tank from the manure tank. 
So let's put this thing right. Uh, gotta save some room over here. Uh, let's just put this thing right over here. Okay, there it is, fifty thousand dollars, and here it is. I cannot go up there though. Oh, come on, let me up there. Nope. Okay, so there it is. I wish we could take a look at it, but I guess we can. So, uh, let's get a tractor really quick. Let's just get this. Come on. And then we need a slurry tank, which... There we go. We just need something really small for right now. Nope. Oh, okay, there we go. Go over here. It should be like right around here, I believe. Oh, there you go. Yep, it is full. Uh, let's. There we go. And yep, costs us money. Let's see how much a full take will cost us. Okay, we're at six thousand, seven, eight thousand. So that costs us $343. Not too bad, actually. Okay, so that is the, uh, the story tank. So let's go to the next one, guys. Okay, next one we're going to take a look at. Let's go over here. Uh, probably under miscellaneous again. Uh, not that just yet. Uh, where are you, slurry trading system? There's a manure trading system, which we already went over that before. Um, where are you? There it is. Okay, we have the slurry shop, which is fifteen thousand. Uh, this this is a slurry shop for selling for filling slurry tanks. So this is where you can fill it. So there's that one. Uh, this one is the storage, so you can store it. This one could you could put two hundred fifty thousand liters in it. Just put that one right there. And this this one is a slurry trader. Uh, you have too much slurry, so you can sell it over here. Uh, come on Right there. There we go Okay, let's see if there is No difference. I wish they had like a sign. You know what I mean? Cuz yeah <laughs> But you should be able to go in here and There you are the slurry trader. So prices do go up prices do go down. Uh, there is great demands, too You shouldn't be able to sell digest aid Should you no? Or actually, yeah, you should be able to sell this. Let's see. Since this is slurry. Yep. So, there we go. Selling some money right there. Selling some money. Selling some slurry. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. We bought it for, what, 300 and something? Let's see if we can get more money for actually selling it. Looks like it, actually. Because we're already down to 2,000. And it looks like we made over a thousand dollars. No, actually 564. So we did actually make about $200 profit though. Not too bad. And then you should be able to go also over here. So be able to just go right up to here. Fill it up. Let's see this. That last one costed us what? Like. 350 to fill up. Let's see how much this one's going to cost us to fill up. Huh? It's about, it's about the same price. Actually, I think it is exactly the same price. Okay, and this is your slurry storage. It should also say on. No, it doesn't. Oh, yet. Yeah, no. Nope, it doesn't say on there. I really wish it would say on the silos of how much how much you could actually hold in your silo. Let's actually turn on this real quick. See if this says anything. Okay, right there. Okay, there's 
some slurry. Let's go over here. Yeah, it does not say the silo capacity. I wish it would. Because how else are you going to know if you're almost full or not? Huh. Yeah, see, okay, I guess you can click on it, though. Yeah, okay, that's about it right there. Okay, so that is the slurry trading system. Let's get to the next one. Okay, for the next one, I had to sell all the buildings. Go over miscellaneous, and it should be right over here. There it is right there. We got the bail sell point small, which is 20,000. Uh, as you guys can see, these things are pretty big. Uh, there's the small one. And then we got the bell cell point long. Come on. Let's make it go this way instead. Bet you if I move the tractor, I bet you I would have more room, huh? <laughs> I guess I could put it right there. And then we have the bell cell point double, which is 30,000. These are five slots a piece. Oh, might not have it. Let's see if I can move the tractor, see if that will make up some room come on come on tractor you can do it okay then we go over miscellaneous and we need to go back to the double hopefully it could fit here and it cannot of course oh wait did I see green yes I did there we go who cares if I just uh Put in that wheat field right there. Okay, so that's the small one right here. There's the storage part, and here, of course, is where you can sell it. This is the double. And there's the sell point. And then there's that sell point. And it should be in the store, hopefully. Come on, saving, saving, saving. Okay, yes, bail sales. The only problem is you don't know exactly which one's which. <laughs> Ooh. It looks like there's a little... I can't go down. It won't let me go... It won't let me go down anymore. Okay. Well, it looks like it also takes more than just bales. Because it also takes wool, it looks like. And cotton. Ooh. So, cotton. Uh, wool. And then, of course, the regular, you know, grass, straw, chaff. So that is pretty cool. Just uh, make sure you don't get more than one. Actually, I'm going to delete two of these to see what happens. So let's delete the uh, long one and the small one. I remember in 17, when you actually bought these, bought something like this, you would actually have to um, restart the whole map. Okay, it works fine whenever it's just one, but whenever there's two, I couldn't go down for some reason. Okay, so basically all you do is just bring your, uh, bring your bale or whatever and put it right there and just sell it. So that is it of the placeables, guys. So let's go over here. And we'll take a look at some of the new mod mods. Okay, we'll go over here. We we'll go to vehicles first, and under animals we have the uh, there it is the Coon SPV Comfort 12. It is 112,000. It can hold 12,000 liters. Uh, it is seven slots and it is 142 horsepower. So there it is. There is no options on it, guys. Now let's turn off this real quick. Oops, no, not that. Here is the inside. Pretty nice. Let's turn the engine on. Ooh, nice engine. Lights. Beacon. And there's turning on the mixer. So you can feeds it right there, goes down, picks up the silage, so pretty nice guys, turn that off, 
I like that winding down sound right there. Okay, next mods. Okay, the next mod we have is under probably wheel loaders, I'm thinking. Uh, the Bell Fork self made is 1600. It is two slots, and of course, this is for wheel loaders, guys. You can change the design color, so of course, we'll go with our John Deere green and main color. It is. Let's just put it as black. There we go. So, there it is right there. This thing will be able to carry a lot, lots of bales. <laughs> Okay, and then last but not least, we have, uh, where would this probably be at? Maybe the, we're looking for the Flegel, where are you, bio belts? There, there it is right there, the guide rail is 800, it is five slots, and you can change the main color on it, black. You can have as pallet fork, two bale, uh, tines, four bales, six bales, tines, and then pallet fork. So let's just do this one and we'll do like the six. All it is is just six spikes. So there it is right there. That's for the front loader, of course. So not too bad. So those are the mods for today, guys. Uh, let me also make sure about something first. Since we're over here, let's get... Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Wheel loader. Let's get the W190. We're, we're, we're gonna try try this uh, this bell spike thing right here. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go over to here, and we're going to buy some. Let's buy some bales. Okay, and there's the bales right there. We're gonna try our uh, the bale cell point. See how it works. And we're also gonna see how this thing works too. Let's see if this thing can actually carry all eight. That'd be something. Highly doubt it though. Huh. Okay, proven wrong. Not very sturdy. I just need to make it all the way over there, that's it. Oh great. And of course we got this little bump right here. Uh, uh. Stay, 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 stay. Well, this definitely wakes me up in the morning. Come on. Just trying to get you right over. No, 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 no. It's right here. Come on. What did I hit? And these things are going everywhere. It's this hill. Oh, there we go. Yep, and it does work. Let go. Let go. Let go. There we go. Yep. Definitely, definitely works, guys. And yeah, I'm getting stuck. That's why I probably should have flattened the land out. Okay, guys. You guys thought that was the end of the video. Went back, checked. We got two more new mods. Pretty big ones too. So let's go into the mod section again. Let's go over here and under forestry equipment. Show all mods. Yep. Under forestry equipment, we got two big ones. We got the John Deere's are in here. So I think this is actually the first modded John Deere's in Farming Simulator. And these are both from the North Modding Company. Uh, this is the 1910G. Uh, let's see, the Mammoth 1910G from the John Deere features a low wide punk VLS that folds for transport uh, bigger tires for better ride comfort compared to the other forwarders and higher ground clearance. Rotating self-leveling cab turning nine, 290 degrees for an all-around view of a boom. Movements for efficient 
log loading. A powerful CF8 crane with a Deer 040 grapple. Jeez. Uh, horsepower is 280 to 320. Boom reach is 7.2. A rotating self leveling cab turns 290 degrees. Uh, low load ro rating is 19,000 kilograms. And decking blade and engine grill guard. So let's install that. Then we have the John Deere 1470G. Uh, the 1470 features a six wheel setup different from the in-game harvesters. The CH9 long reach crane works perfectly with the H290 harvester head uh, where you can manual tilt up and down and a grapple function. Self leveling cab that follows the crane for optimal view. Uh, tracks, wheel tracks and cr chains are optional extras. Horsepower is 268, boom reach is 8.6, and rotating self-leveling cab turns 160 degrees. So let's install that and let's go in game and look at these real quick, guys. Okay, here we are at the shop. This, of course, is not Felsbrunn. This is the new logging map. Uh, there it is right there. I am not going to showcase this because I'm not really much into forestry, but uh, well, uh, if you guys uh, play it, uh, let me know how it is. Okay, here we go. Here is the two new mods. Going to go over it here. We're going to go to, where are you? Forestry Machines. And there's the first one, the 1470G. It is 422,000. It is 25 slots. It is 268 horsepower. You can either do Nokian, Olaf, for, yeah. <laughs> you can do it with Pro Grips or the Evos or the Evo Plus Port Pro Grip. Pretty nice. I like it like that. Okay, so that's the 1470, and then we got the 1910, which is 340,000. It is 280 horsepower, 36 slots, lots of slots. Uh, you could do the Nokian or the same thing, and you can also do it with the uh, blade, which, where's the blade? Oh, the grill is removed. There's the grill mounted right there. That's pretty cool. I might actually have it with the grade. The grill, I mean. Looks pretty good. Uh, you can do 1910 or 1910 OPT, which bumps up to 320. Or the 1910 low range, which is 310. So you can go all the way up to 320. Go on, as much horsepower as you can get. Okay, where are they at? Oh, they're actually in here. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let me turn this thing off real quick. There we go. Okay. It's really nice. John Deere. This is a 1470. Let's turn her on. Pretty nice. Pedals move. Like I said, I am not, not much into forestry, so I'm probably not going to be very good at moving this thing around. <laughs> I mean, I've done some. Okay, there we go. Just trying to get out the door. So, pretty nice. Uh, let's... Oops. Wrong button. Turn that on. So, it does have a grip. Uh, let's put this on real quick. Uh, it has the 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter, 6, 7. Should go all the way up to 8. Yep. Over, everything's still the same. Yep. Yep. Okay, so that's the John Deere, uh, the the fourteen seventy G. Okay, and here is the other one. Really nice, nineteen ten. I like that control group crane one. Okay, so let's see. We got that tool. We got the support arm, which is that thing right there. It's pretty cool. So if you want to push some logs out of the way, you can go ahead and push them out of the way. And then, we, of course, we got the crane. Unfold. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. I like how it just does that. Uh, question is, is... Yes, there is straps. Okay. Let me turn that thing off real quick. So, guys, that is the mods for today. Let me know what you guys think. That That's actually it this time, guys.
So these are the mods. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember, if you did like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an awesome day, farmers. Peace. Yeah.